one's gonna be different. This one's gonna be more transparent and a little bit more vulnerable on my part. But I also, I'm, I'm not gonna be speaking in, in, in essence or in sense to the, the people that listen to me that are actually already believers. I also know that I have a, a group of listeners, audiences that uh, I know from my past. And we're still somewhat friends on social media or whatnot, but you watch my videos, but you're still doing what it is you're doing. Well, this one's for you today. I'm going to call this the call out. Now, when you think of a call out, what do you think of? Like when I was in prison, I thought the call out of being, uh, it, it's, when you, it's when, you, when you call somebody out to fight. And in a physical sense, you're calling them and test them and to actually say, come on, test, let's test each other. Let's see what you got and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you what I got. Well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this and say, I see a lot of people say they stand for something. I see a lot of people thinking that they're a man. Thinking, now, now some of you guys ain't going to like what, I, what, what I'm probably saying. But it doesn't matter. God has really just resonated it on my heart. And I, I feel like I have to say this. But I read a lot of people's posts or on social media or whatever. And they talk about just their talk on, on how they're going to beat up this person. Or um, what they stand for. What they believe in. And not nothing religion. Nothing religious at all. But in essence, in, it's everything that I used to be. It's everything that's immature, that doesn't stand for an actual what a man's supposed to be. I'm calling you out because I want you, I'm gonna actually challenge you to become a real man. Some of you that might be in some games, I might be, I might be touching on your toes a little bit because some of us think that what it is I stand for, I used to be one of them. Mind you, I lived my life, I, went, I, I did the gang activity stuff, I went to prison, I did all of that. And some of you who are listening to this video right now, I've either used drugs with you, I've sold drugs to you, or I bought drugs from you. And yet you're still seeing the change of life in me today. That's the vulnerability that I'm talking about because I'm actually releasing that today. But, here, but here's the thing. I used to think that there's a, there's a verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, and it says, I'm, I'm going to read it to you. This is what it says. It says, when I was a child, I used to speak like a child, think like a child, reason like a child. But when I became a man, I did away with my childish things. I heard a man say one time, he says, if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. But the question is, is what is it that you actually stand for? See, when I, when I was thinking like a child, when I was acting like a child, not it, I was a grown adult child. Because my ethics, my core beliefs, my, my everything that I stood for was nothing worth standing for. See, we have in this life, we have something that we have to stand for. But what it is you stand for, is it eternal? When this world is dissolved away, when this world disappears, when everything comes to a halt, what it is that you're standing for, is it eternal? Will it last? The only thing to actually stand for in this life is the stand, standard of God. That's the only way you are actually a true... Okay, I'm going to say it this way. A lot of people look at Christianity and they look at it like they're weak. A lot of people look at Christianity and they think, yeah, you know what, man, they, they ain't no real people. They don't know how it is. But actually, this walk is for the real men. You think you're a real man? Try this. Uh, First Corinthians, I mean, I'm sorry, Isaiah 1 uh, Isaiah 1, 18 and 19, uh, the Lord says, come, reason with me. Come, let us come together. Let, let's figure this out. See, God wants you to reason with him. God wants you to come to him and try to figure out. God is calling you out and wants you to actually come and test him. But are you man enough to be called out by God? That's what I believe that this word's about. I believe God is calling you out to test you versus him. Not like a, I'm going to send fire from heaven and consume you. Not that kind of thing. Do you stand for something that's true? Do you stand for something that, that, that's going to stand eternally? 
Can you come against God and actually be able to stand before God and what it is that your core beliefs actually, will they be shooken or will they, or, or will they stand? I believe God's calling you out. I believe God's calling you and wanting it to test what it is you believe. What it is that's in your heart. I'll see one I'll see I'll see somebody post, um, I'm gonna beat this dude up, uh, they owe me money, all types of stuff, and the next sentence they're praising Jesus for something. What? People think that this walk is for the weak, but it's for the meek. People think that this walk is for, is, is for people that want to give up and don't mean for nothing. You have no idea how hard it is to actually be a Christian because what, how much strength it takes to be a man and to do the right thing when it's so easily to go and do the wrong thing. But when you do the wrong thing, you think you're doing the right thing. But you think you're a man. When I was doing those things, I was a child. But God revealed to me my childish ways. He put down. Once I came and I tested, God said, come test me. And I, I tested him. He called me out. And I lost the fight. But he showed me after I fell down, he picked me up back up. He put away my childish ways. And he made me the man that I am today. People that I used to sell to. People that I used to use with. People that I've bought from. You know who I used to be. You know the child that I used to be. Thinking I stood for something. But the only standard that actually mean, uh, the only standard that actually is worth standing for is the standard of God and nothing else. No standard of mankind will last eternally but the standard of Jesus Christ. So I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out to test God. I'm calling you out to ask God what it is that you, He wants you to actually learn. What it is that you have to be putting away. What it is that He wants you to receive and to be the man that He's called you to be. Because I believe a lot of us are children. I believe a lot of us are hiding behind a fake person. Putting on a mask. A lack of identity. And because you have a lack of identity, you're being anything. Like I said in the beginning, there's a, there's a quote. If you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And I think we're falling for anything because you don't have a standard that God wants you to have. Father God, Lord, right now um, I'm speaking strength out to my brothers and sisters. I'm speaking to the ones who are hearing this that need, Father God, need a, a, a true revelation of their childish ways. A true revelation like you gave me, Father. I was in their shoes. But yet you, you seem fit to bring me out and to call me to be the man that you've called me to be, to rise up and be the father, to be the man that you have called me, to be the leader that you've called me. And I am standing in that. Father God, I speak grace over my brothers and sisters. I speak strength over my brothers and sisters. But more so, Father God, I speak brokenness that will bring wholeness into their lives. Like a mosaic painting, so many broken pieces that are brought together for a beautiful masterpiece. Create a beautiful masterpiece in them and show them what it is to be called children of God. It is in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen.